Hi guys, welcome to this video on how to import a SimBrief of flight plans directly into Microsoft Flight Simulator 2020. So, the first thing you would need to do is go to simbrief.com, which I'm assuming, with yourself being at this video already, you know what SimBrief is. However, if you don't, simply go to register here and click create account. Okay, if you don't have a Navigraph account, which I, you probably don't, just click here to one instead. Right, once you've uh, made an account, you can then log in, log in using Simbrief. Simply put your password in and you're in. At this point, you now want to go to dispatch and just click the big button that's all you need to click you don't need to worry about the drop down menu at all okay next we can either go to create new flight or new flight up here either one result is the same you will now get this page if you've never seen this before yes it does look a little scary and a little complicated it is not okay don't be put off it's very very simple so for example purposes, I am going to be using an EasyJet flight from Gatwick to Amsterdam. So as we know, the airline is easy. Flight number can be anything, one, two, three, it's fine. Uh, so we want to go Gatwick, put in a depart. Once you put it in the arrive, it will start doing everything automatically for you. So as you see here, boom, everything then gets filled in. The only thing you need to put in then is the airframe, which in this case is the A320. Um, don't need to worry about any of this if you don't know what you're doing, just leave all that default. As you can see here, you can actually change these when you get into the sim, so that's fine as well. What we're doing here is just getting the main flight plan set up. So here we go, there's Gatwick. Amsterdam and this is the flight plan you can also click here for different plans to your suiting maybe you want to dodge some weather or go over a certain area um, but for example purposes we'll just select the first one that comes up okay that's literally all that you need to do here once you've done that you will then click generate OFP this button here simply click yes and this will take a few seconds and we are done so that our flight plan is now official okay here is all our flight plan details uh, you've got the cost index the flight level steps everything is available on here the ascent altitude wind speeds etc so it's at this screen you want to take most notice if you scroll down you'll then get to the flight plan download section in this section you want to scroll down to fs 2020 okay so there we go it's a pln file ejkk to em simply click download and it will go to your download folder it is now at this point you want to go over into your sim so simply load up your sim go to the main um, flight planning page simply click space or more at the bottom of your page click load save and at this page will, uh, this option will come up click load and here we are we now want to go to our newly downloaded flight plan from Simbrief, which can be found here. Simply double click it, and boom, it gets put into the sim. Let's just turn the weather, there we go. Right, so as you can see, we are departing from Gatwick, arriving in Amsterdam. And if we zoom in, you can see that the planner has put in for approach RNAV24. Now, 
at this point you may want to change a couple of things for example you may want to change over to an ILS um, so simply scroll up to the ILS for example here I use runway 6 boom runway 6 there we go so we're gonna fly in here we're gonna move out here to line up for our arrival into runway 6 over here you will be starting from the runway however if you want to start from a gate it's very simple you simply scroll in choose a gate of your choosing for example this one and set it as your departure you will now be starting cold and dark and your plan is all set up and ready to go so we are leaving gate 113 direct departure you can again choose uh, departure waypoints if you would like again with the arrivals for example we can change this over and it will then arrive like this which is a bit crazy so obviously or we could choose this one which is still crazy as hell go back to the simple one there we go so the next thing to do is simply click fly and you are off and away it really is as simple as that i hope this has helped anybody that was wondering how to import simbri flights directly into microsoft flight simulator if you do have any more questions please don't hesitate to ask and answer in the comment sections below see you in the skies